Hey, yo guys, welcome back. My name is HM and I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. And if you're new here, the swarm welcomes you. Guys, today we had a very special delivery from our good friend over at the Baku Crew, Baku Brad 96. Seriously, thank him for all these awesome things he sent us. This unboxing would not be possible without you, and I really appreciate it. But I'm going to be trying out some new formats here on the channel. I want to do kind of a quick look video format just so we can get more people getting the answers they need quickly. And then we're going to have this kind where I kind of just take my time and I just hang out with you guys and give you some of my thoughts and really take a deep dive into how these Bakugan look and how they function in the TCG. So today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this awesome Diamond Warrior Rail power-up pack. I've heard pretty good things about this pack. The Diamond Evo is supposed to be pretty dang good. The Nano Gun, I'm not too sure, but I'm hoping they're pretty good. I think I have a proxy of Ventus Nano Sledge, so I'm pretty sure that one's pretty good. I don't know about the Nano Fury, but I might already have these in proxy, but we'll see. It'll be nice to have the actual cards for them, but let's go ahead and take a look at the back. We've got Pyrus Nano Fury and Ventus Nano Sledge, so that's awesome already. A pretty interesting render of a Platinum Warrior Whale. It looks like the head is blue. That is weird. That is not how that looks on the front. It looks really nice. It's got some really, really cool metallic paints. I think I see some hints of gold on the tips of the hands, so I'm actually really excited to get this open. So well, without further ado, I've kept you guys waiting long enough. I appreciate you watching, and let's go ahead and get into this. Instead of making this unboxing part more of a montage this time, I'm actually just going to open it and just chat with you guys, because it's been a little bit since I've done an unboxing, and I'd be lying if I didn't say I was kind of de demotivated lately. Uh, it's been kind of rough with uh, the financial situation, and just with Gen 3 on the horizon, I am looking forward to seeing what Gen 3 is going to turn out like, because there is a lot of really weird designs and whatnot in this uh, it's this re reboot of sorts, and I want to at least get a couple just to kind of see how it's going to turn out, and I don't want to just let it fly by, because last time I let a season of something fly by, I had Mectanium Surge, and I didn't get any of those when I was a kid, and I still beat myself up for not having that. So, ooh, I'm already seeing an interesting core lineup. So, we've got our checklist, our usual uh, gate card, which is, yeah, just another one. We've got Pyrus Sledge? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a mispack. Oh. Oh, actually, man, I kind of might like that. Add is, wait a second, is this the one Haru Ren loves so much? That's just double red. Oh, Pyrus Sledge's best boy. Oh my gosh, I have one. Cool. Um, that really is unfortunate. Does that mean I don't get the Ventus Sledge? Uh, let's continue on. Ventus Nano Fury. Wow, both of the Nano God in this pack are wrong, I think. I'm pretty sure they're flipped. Interesting. So we'll go ahead and dive into those later. Let's go ahead and get the figures out of here because that is really interesting. Uh, where are my trusty scissors? There they are. Okay, so, we're gonna go ahead and get these out of here. And yeah, I just want you guys to know that I still love Bakugan. I always will. We love the TCG here on this channel, and I don't want it to go anywhere, so... Wow, this looks really good. This looks really good with that gold. But yeah, the TCG's not going anywhere on this channel. I want to try my best to keep it alive as long as possible. And I've got a friend that enjoys playing it just as much as I do. And we have a great time just chilling on stream with everybody. It has been a while since we did a live stream, but that's just because time has been kind of short lately with uh, all the work that I've been having to do, which is totally okay. We need to get those funds back. So hopefully I'll be in a more properly functioning position to make content as I throw trash away. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at our Nanogon here because... These are not the correct ones, so I've just got two random little figures. I don't want to just throw these off to the side and be like, oh, I don't care about them, because I, honestly, Nanogon were never my favorite, but they're still interesting little figures, and we got to take a look at them, because they are a part of Gen 2 and Gen 2's ending, so we got Nano Sledge here, and he's just a little dude. He's just a little guy. I think he's like a gargoyle of some kind. I want to say, or an imp, maybe? Something. Something. My camera will focus, there we go. Yeah, I, I don't know what to call him. <laughs> he's definitely like a little imp or a, a gargoyle or something, but he's really cool looking. 
Next up, we have Nano Fury. And this one is a Pyrus one. So we got the Ventus card. We literally got them backwards. That is so weird. Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah, he just... This looks like a weird... Weird fire chicken... thing. Yep, not... <laughs> not really the biggest fan of the Nanos. But they did bring such an awesome system to the TCG, and that would be Nanogon. So, let's take a look at these. Pyrus Nano Sledge is really good. Anything that allows you to add a core for anything is great. So, 100 B power for one Flaming Fist is not great, but you want to ramp up to the two Flaming Fists to get a core. And then the Ventus Nano Fury is honestly a little situational. It's good if your opponent is running maybe like a Helix or a Green Fist deck and you happen to have two of the three cores needed. But I feel like this is just kind of a set-in. So I don't know if I'd recommend this one. This one is a good set-in if you don't have anything else. This one, however, is a top choice for Fire Fist decks. So that is actually really good. And based on the cores we have seen in this pack, it looks like our Warrior Whale is going to be a Red Fist and an Orange Shield. So, you've got an Orange Shield and a Flaming Fist if you want to use the two Nano God that come with this. So, moving into the star of our show. Whoa, I'm noticing something weird about this one. Whoa, Year One vibes. The B power is not in gold. It's actually white. Usually it's black. That's really interesting. I wonder what the decision for that was. But the faction symbol remains gold. Looks very nice. You get these really nice gold accents. The little feet have some gold. That's pretty cool. I've never been too huge on this design. I thought the Genesis Warrior Whale design was actually really good. This one just looks just a little too molded, I guess. It like this, all these weird plastic -y, I don't even know what to call them. They're not even details. They're just places where the mold was at, I guess, to make these actual parts, but it does look really good with its colors, so we're gonna go ahead and get this closed, because Warrior Whale is a relatively simple Bakugan to close, and yeah, this, um, this color is very, very pleasing. It's like a cotton candy blue, and it's metallic, and it looks super, super nice. Super nice. I actually really like this platinum color to the nice blue. You get some metallic orange on there. This thing looks awesome. Wow. So, for the character card, let's see what we have. Oh, that's right. This is a thousand base B power. I forgot about that. We've opened up a warrior whale on the channel. And, sorry, my freaking nose is leaking like crazy. <laughs> the normal warrior whale we opened up, the platinum warrior whale, had a thousand B power. And if you win, you get to... Oh, you get to, wait, whoa, you get to take the opponent's Baku core? That's really interesting. Now I kind of, like, after I've played the TCG quite a bit, I kind of understand how good that is. This allows you to get one step closer to domination. So if you're going up against a Bakugan that holds a Helix, and you need a Helix for this play, and you wouldn't necessarily land on it, you just get to take that at the end of the battle. And it's just there, so you can have have it for domination. You could have it for Nanogon plays. Wow, that's really cool. And a thousand base B power. I'm kind of surprised. Um, that's pretty great. So yeah, that's awesome. What is what is the Diamond Evo gonna be? Okay. So three. Oh, ooh. Okay. This is really. Uh, I don't know if I'd say it's really good. Actually, let me think about this. So. We get a 4 damage gain and a 300 B power gain. Now, that isn't awful, but you might be better off playing a gear on it. Because it does retain its effect, but if you want to get something really good off of this, land on a minus 2 gear reduction flaming fist and slap something really good on this thing. Because that will really, really set you over that 1300 mark and be a threat. So, this could be something you could throw like two in and be just fine and then play a gear on top of this because it would stack. Um, this is not bad. Three is not that bad of an investment. 
I don't think it's the craziest Evo we've ever seen, but I think it's solid. You could definitely use this alongside a gear as well. And yeah, that's... Oh, and get this. If you win a battle and you steal an opponent's gear reduction core, you can play another gear or a gear at the end of the turn on this. So if you land on a magic shield with this Evo, you're going to be at 1950, 5 damage, and if you're lucky, you can get a gear reduction core and play a gear for 2 less on this monster already. That is awesome! Okay, that is the playmaking stuff I love about Bakugan. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in ball form one more time because I'm really enjoying the way this gold looks. Look at that gold, it looks so nice. And the plastic is so clear. It reminds me of the Diamond Platinum Dragonoid that we had earlier this year. The front sight is actually a little foggy, but this, these tail parts back here, this is, oh my gosh, that's that diamond goodness. That is just that goodness. So let's go ahead and put this back over here and get you guys in focus again and see if we can get a rollout here for you. Actually, I'll go ahead and just cut to a rollout because that'd be easier. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this unboxing. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to become one with the swarm, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And guys, if you watched all the way to the end, please, in your comment, if you leave one, or if you just want to leave a comment just to show me that you watched all the way to the end of the video, just, just leave a good strong whale in the comments for me. I'll know that you watched all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. And guys, seriously, this has been an absolute journey that I've gone through that I'm just so happy that you guys could have been there with me. And I hope we keep going, honestly. Uh, Gen 3 is right around the corner, and I've got all of all the support in the world I could ever ask for. Like, seriously, Brad, thank you for sending me this. If you guys, seriously, if you're watching this and you don't know who Baku Brad 96 is, go to his channel, subscribe. He is a great friend of ours here on the channel. And he is the, f the leader of the Baku crew. The Baku crew is also awesome. I know I got some Baku crew viewers here. You guys are awesome too. Uh, anyway, I guess I could ramble about that for hours and hours and hours. I'll keep, I'll let you get on with your day. I hope you guys have a fantastic one. And I guess I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.